Welcome back to Thy and I Plays Star 2 Valley Expanded Mail Time. Dear Din, nothing is more satisfying than cooking with fresh vegetables from our own garden. I've enclosed a recipe to help you out. Take care, Kath. Catherine? No, Caroline. Who is Catherine? She's sending me vegetable stew, apparently. I will take it. I will take it all. I'm going to make four more sprinklers because I am moving sprinklers around and I need to plan things better because my planning skills are non-existent. What are we doing today? We're doing the Festival of Ice and then Sebastian's birthday. My planning skills are also beyond impeccable. Where are sprinklers? I only need four of them. And I don't ultimately need to get anything else. Uh, I should put some more stuff into the m machines. Oh, the machines. Uh, yeah, just stick in some iron. We'll eventually need so much iron, probably. Four things. Four things. Now that we have, now that we have our giant upgraded farm area, I did a tiny bit of fiddling around with some stuff between episodes. I would, like, load up a day, then close the day before it's saved, just to see how things would fit together without wasting any time. And the way I want to handle it, it may look kind of stupid i should have got mm, doesn't matter i can i can fiddle with more things later give me one of these scarecrows i am eventually going to rework the farm at some point well not rework it functionally i'm gonna rework it aesthetically it's not gonna be you know oh that's a lot that's <laughs> lots of uh, lots of green when i pull out the scarecrows gotta love those scarecrows i need to move all of these down by one that way I can have a path, because I did I did test that. In its previous incarnation, when it was one up above, when I tried to put a path down around it, well, I lose the space. And I like having the paths, and even though I don't have the materials to make a path at the moment, it'll be fine. I need to put one like this. I believe, yeah, like that. And then one there. And then one there, and then one like this. Yes, that is correct, and I want to put the Scarecrow right in the middle. That way, when I inevitably turn this into fully functioning garden plots, it will be lovely and it'll look good. And that way, I don't have to sacrifice any other sprinklers from elsewhere. Festival of Ice is a good luck day, which is unfortunate because, well, the Festival of Ice is beginning right now. Hmm... I didn't decide what I'm going to do on the tea saplings. I probably made too many. Because I believe I'm left with 14. I believe I can fit 9 in the greenhouse. Well, I could fit all of them in the greenhouse, but we're not going to worry about that too much. I'm going to say hello to all of my wonderful barn animals. I'm going to get all of the, the mayo and the cheese and everything like that, and it'll all be wonderful. And this dinosaur is taking forever to hatch. But that's fine. It is Monday. So it's the Festival of Ice. Then tomorrow is a null day. And then Sebastian's birthday is the 10th, I believe. I wish it wasn't a good day. Or a good luck day. I, I, never, I never don't want good days. I want always good days. Unfortunately, we have a mediocre day today. Because it's full of unfortunate circumstances. I can't go into the mines. Which is fine. Let me put all of this stuff in here. How much cheese do we have? We have lots of cheese. Will we ever be able to make full use of it? Who knows? Not me. I don't know. We will probably sell it at some point. Or once I have an entire cellar, shed, and greenhouse basement full of casks. And then we'll be able to do it. But not right now. Uh, let's just get the row. And then we can go do some ice fishing. So hopefully that's wonderful. I'm pretty sure we already got the rewards from all that. And we don't have to buy anything. Not like we could anyway. Considering we only have $45. That's probably an oversight on my part. I really hope we don't have to buy anything. How is everyone doing though? I hope everyone's doing good. Rare crow, we have all of that. Christmas trees. Oh, Christmas trees. Oh, Christmas tree. I wonder if that's where they got the expression from. Susan! When I was younger, my father and I loved to fish together. Haven't fished at all since then. Join the competition. I think you'll do great in the contest, Tin. Man, here's hoping. Gunther! Oh my god! Ah, you blend in with the snow because of your white coat. 
Rumor has it there's been a plethora of artifacts buried underneath the very soil we're standing on. I have found them all. Sophia! Oh my god, I have to talk to you more often. Mmm, so pretty here. There's no food, but that's okay. I brought snacks. I, too, brought snacks. I think. Do I have any food on me at any point? Probably not. Can we... What is this? Oh, this is... I overheard Wiley talking about you. I'll be... It'll be a close match between you two. Oh, probably. Wizard, did you set up some magic crystals? There's a significant concentration of mana in this spot. I must analyze its origin. You should head back to the others, Din. Master, please. Please don't send me away, Master. I can help. I am a genius when it comes to teleportation. I have six of them set up. The one to the farm, the one to Sprite Spring, Secret Woods, uh, the guild. I have like six set up, five set up. I don't know. Sandy, oh my god, I never see you. You don't see snow in the desert. It would be a concerning day if you ever did see snow in the desert. Oh, hi, Emily. How you doing? This snowman needs a makeover. Whoever made this? Clint. Of course, the one who makes shoddily put together snowmen would be you. You're only moderately adequate when it comes to metallurgy, but when it comes to actual snow, you're a child. She started helping me without any provocation. Does that mean something? No, it just means that you're nonsensically bad at building snowmen. I pity the fool who builds snowmen incorrectly. Shane, how are you doing? If it was up to me, I'd probably have a pizza festival at the saloon instead. Man, I would love a pizza festival. Can we just have a day where we celebrate whatever with pizza? We could celebrate pizza with pizza. Haley, how you doing? I love the scarf. I guess winter isn't all that bad after all. Playing in the snow can be rather fun. I agree. Where is that fool Martin? Is he around? I want to scream at him. Where... Where is that boy? Oh, you're Kent. I love your hat. It reminds me of Papers, Please. I like winter. It's peaceful. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying it. Where is that boy? That boy. I need to track him down. Where could he be? I'm not... Uh. Marlin, how are you doing this wintry day? If you spawn any frost slimes, alert me. I will take care of them myself. I have a sword from the heavens themselves. Where is Martin? Where is Martin? I will track him down. Because that's Victor and Sophia. That's Sebastian and Sam. That's Marnie. Hmm. Leave it to Martin. Why do we have animal bones over here? Someone should frame those. I don't know. Put them up on the saloon. Maybe we can get them to Gus. Let's get this festival over with. Why am I... I wanted to find Martin, but he is elusive as always. You're not hanging out with Haley, are you? No, you're just Alex. Snowmen are okay, I guess, but mostly I'm looking forward to the spring. So am I. There's so much stuff to do in spring, you have no idea. Lewis! Let's get this fishing quest on. Welcome to the Festival of Ice. Can we, can we begin? The highlight of today's festival is the ice fishing competition. We've set up this frozen lake and stocked it full of fish. Over the course of a single night, me and Robin, we pulled an all-nighter, as always, with various amounts of high-yield explosives to uh, make this giant crater. We filled it with water, allowed it to freeze overnight, and filled it with fishes. Afterwards, we drilled these holes first and put the fishes in one by one. There's only a full stock of 12 fish, so best of 12 out of four contestants. Let me know when you're ready to compete. I am ready to compete. Five contestants. Isn't one of the holes undone? Well, not undone, but unused. Yeah, 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 I can, I can fish. My, my skill level is 10, and my rod is prepped. Wow, there are more people here than there ever have been before. Vincent, Jazz, George, Evelyn, Maru, Demetrius, Robin, I don't know you, Alex, Gus, Leia, Caroline, Abigail, where is Martin? Oh my god, he just didn't want to come. Even Linus showed up. Wow, I can't believe that boy. He's probably locked up in the theater. I mean, like, I realize he went in the theater. Did someone should go and check up on that boy. It's like, he got locked in the theater. He's probably dead of starvation or, you know, gone feral out of nothing but theater popcorn butter. And be like, oh, he's he's lost all sense of normality and humanity. Oh, everyone's got a head start because they prime themselves by the fishing. Well, you can't, you can't beat me. No one can beat me. I'm I'm going to fish all of the fish whenever they bite. Oh my god, fish number one. Look at my skills. Do I even have to reel in at all? 
No, I don't, because my skills as a fisherman is literally just comprised entirely and solely of sitting in one spot and allowing the fish to jump straight into my hook and straight into my rod. So let's do this. Five seconds. Come on, give me one more fish. No, I accidentally pressed the button. Well, we'll have to hope five is enough to succeed and get first place. I can't believe I accidentally pressed the button. Well, I can't accidentally. I absolutely believe I accidentally pressed the button. Lewis, how does five fish yield? Out of the 12 potential fish, is five the majority? That's a lot of fish. Like I said, 12 total. A baker's dozen, plus and then minus one. Oh, Lewis, don't ever go to the beach. I was about to make a joke, but even I don't want to make that. I don't want to lower myself to such terrible jokes. Now for the winner of this year's ice fishing competition. Drum roll, please. Who is it? Who is it? It better be me. Din with five big, slimy, pleasurable fish. Lewis, please save that for the bedroom with Marnie. Here's your prize. Enjoy. Wow, $2,000. Although, $2,000 compared to the 45 that I had in my pocket. Not 4500 or 45000 Just 45 So, you know, the old 45 that's pretty nice. But the 2000 that's a bit better. That's a bit better. I could buy, like, two tickets to Ginger Island if I wanted to do that. Oh, well, this day's over. Who's prepared for another month worth of bad luck? I can't believe I won. Time to head home. Heading home, I shot $2,000. You know what? I am not content with this. I am not content with it. We still have time in the day. We still have time in the day. And all of my cheese is at gold star quality, which is truly phenomenal and fantastic. I am not someone who sits on my laurels and wastes my good luck. I am going into the mines, and we are going to find one galaxy soul and or... Ir, 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 radio, radio. Oh, I don't have the bomb ring. Oh, my bomb ring. Well, I'll definitely take all of the iridium. No, it's not iridium. I genuinely don't know why I can never get that straight. Well, I will, I will leave with two bits of radioactive ore and I will like it. And then I will leave with however much coal I can get from these wretched vile creatures. 11 o'clock. Did you guys know that when you're in uh, Skull Cavern, that time slows down? I believe it's like 80% the speed of total time, so you could get like extra time if you're going into Skull Caverns. So it's definitely worth your time. That's not the case when it comes to uh, the mines or anything like that. So I, it's one-to-one -one in terms of the time, but I'll definitely take as much as I can. I will take all of these things. I'm going to make full use of my good luck and get stuff. Give me stuff. If I had remembered to bring a bunch of pheromones, they would be better. But I unfortunately did not. And so we have to deal with significantly weaker enemies. Give me give me some stuff that's more than just... I mean, the coal is nice, but like, can I have anything other than that? Can I have like some rare thing? Galaxy soul. Prismatic shard. I'll even settle for an ancient seat that just appears in my inventory because... I am blind and foolish. Go slimes. Oh, I'll take the staircase. I do love staircases. Although I suppose the few, like the handful of rocks that we'll get is also something that I will take because I am perilously low on rocks. Do I dare just go until I pass out? Because I feel like no one would blame me if that was the case. Like who, who would buy, like what, how much money could I possibly lose? Like 200, is it like 10% or something like that? Let's just continue going down. All of these creatures, it's one in the morning. Here, just go down another floor. Can we get, can we get down 10 floors in like 10 o'clock? I mean, all of this stuff, it's not really worth my time. Unless you're going to give me some rare stuff. Oh, I'll take this radioactive ore and then we'll, Oh, yeah, we're totally... Yeah, we're just gonna pass out because there's no way I can get back to the I can get back to the house. At 140, there's no way I can get back to the house. But I can gosh darn well try. There's almost certainly no way. 
140. Can we, can, with the horse, with Epona, with Nehru, can we get there at 150? Probably not. And, oh, I got, yeah, there's no way, but that's fine. Will we lose money if we're on the farm? I don't know. I suppose we'll hands, have, have our answer right in this screen. Yeah, we lost about $200, but that's fine. Oh, right, the trash can. How could I forget? We have to go get a trash can. 76. Lots of things. Do we have... What do we have to do? It's a moderately good luck day today. Maybe, maybe we just go back to the mines. I mean, like... You can never go wrong with going into the mines. Let me put all this stuff away. I'll put all of this stuff away. It's no one's birthday. Today is just a, a magic, no nonsense, or well, a no good day. Nothing is happening. It's Sebastian's, Gunther's birthday, Marlon's birthday, Clint's birthday. Ugh, Clint. Oh, Clint. If there was any person alive, who would I, I would be like, yeah, I don't much care in terms of giving a birthday it would probably be him i might give him like one piece of copper just just for sanity's sake can i put i got 30 pieces of coal and for like such pathetic amounts of work i'll take it let's put the non-explosive ring on what do we want to do today what did i i have no plan especially at this point i'm kind of just it's a tuesday din you're like i found you last night you were unconscious and someone was picking your pockets did someone beat you in a pokemon battle you got to be careful Raise up some more Pokemon besides just that, like, tiny little chunk of yours. He's not tiny, Clint. Or, Linus. He's more powerful than you could physically comprehend. Man. Uh, boy, oh boy, oh boy. What do we want to do today? What is the goal for today? I think, honestly, I think, honestly, we might just go until I get sick of going and just go back into the mines. Because I really want... No, we have to go see Lance today. We have to go see Lance because he's... I think he's in the valley, and I need to give him, I need to give him stuff. He likes the galaxy souls, but unfortunately, I genuinely cannot afford to give him galaxy souls. Uh, I'll bring an egg for Krobus as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, right, lots of eggs to put in. Don't eat a large egg. It's not good to eat eggs raw. It's honestly probably the worst thing you could ever do for your health. I need to decide on what I'm going to do with those tea saplings. I bet I could make them look good if I put them on Ginger Island at some point. They're still churning away. I need more... Right. One of the goals, or not necessarily the goals, but like a long-standing goal, is to get a lot more appliances. I know I've mentioned this in the past, but the appliances are going to be integral to getting everything quickly. Or, well, relatively quickly. Where is Lands? Is he actually in the valley? Lands is up by the dock by Marlin's place. Oh, wait, it's a Tuesday. I gotta go check the Mr. Key's quest as well as the board. Because that is important. Muy importante. Give me all of this goat milk. Goat milk. And then we can probably... I unfortunately do not have enough money to build any upgrades or anything at all. Which is most unfortunate. Um, lands, 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 lands. Right, okay, here, here, here's the goal. We'll go drop off an egg at Krobus, then we'll go drop off an egg at Lance. Hopefully, sooner rather than later, we'll get him up to two hearts. Because he's all the way at one, and I genuinely need him at two. The reason why, the reason why, I think I can mention this without sounding too, without descending too much into spoiler territory. There is a quest on the community board for Marlin, that's his name. Marlin has a quest that requires us to have two hearts minimum with Lance. And if I had any kind of planning skills, I would have been doing this earlier. But I don't have those planning skills because I'm an idiot with no planning skills. I'm too sensitive to sunlight. I, too. I am literally sunburned right now from being too sensitive. What do I What do I have? You don't have... I need $2 million. I need money for lots of things. Obelisks, scepters, stuff. I should give... I need to give... I really need to give more gifts to more people. 
I can get on with that eventually. What does this say? What is this? Tarot roots. I mean... I'd rather get the tarot roots than deal with the squid for so many different purposes. Because, like, I don't... I don't want to get squid. I really... I really don't want to get the squid. It would just be... What do you mean I can't summon horse? Summon horse. It's no one's birthday today, right? I've already checked this. Yeah, it's Sebastian's tomorrow. I'm not getting tuna from Marnie. $300 is not worth my time. And I'm going to see if I can't remember uh, Community Day today. Because... Or well, not today, but this month. This season. Because I missed out on, like, the last two. Because... It's just not a part of the schedule in my eyes. It's just like, it comes once a day on a random 22nd. And I'm like, really? You're asking me to remember this? Oh, nice. A hand axe. I just need that one doll. Oh, I should find out where I can get that one doll. What minerals do I need? Should I break some geodes? My, my thoughts, they rapidly go from different things. I don't know what these are. Why does it sound like there are bats? And then that, just that one doll. What is with, what is with, what is with that noise? Winter roots. I guess I could eat those. Is there anything for us over here? No, it's just a bunch of stuff. I could probably get some mega bombs and blow them up at some point. Not going to concern myself overly much. Oh, I should have brought some stuff from Marlin. What is Marlin like? I know he likes life elixir. And ever since I got them from the one place, I've kind of run out. Where, where is the boy? Where is the spiky-haired lad that I need to give this egg to? Bone fragments. Where is he? It's uh, Oh, he's probably inside because it's snowing and cold out. And I would be like, oh, we need to get stuff. Here, lands, egg. Egg. What a remarkable gift. Thank you. Are you level two now? Please tell me you're level two. You are still only one. I own an outpost far up north in the highlands. That's why I want to get your affinity up. I need to get there. I would greatly desire this. One day you'll join me there. You have no idea how much I desire this thing, lands. No idea. Let's get back to the farm and go check out Ginger Island because we need to go stop in at Mr. Key. I need to I need to do some research on the Grange. I need to I need to figure that out. I wish we had I was about to say I wish we had a teleporter to Ginger Island for my Nexus, but like not really something that's required given the fact that I have a teleporter to the island already let's see what we need to do maybe no no we don't need to do through we don't need to go through the volcano dungeon at this point maybe we take some of the prismatic shards and then just go upgrade our oh the ancient fruit are in okay so this is wonderful we have our entire crop of ancient fruit we should have 267 from this which is you know beyond phenomenal this this is very good this is very 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 good i will definitely take every one of these fruit oh this is good what am i going to do with all of these i'm probably going to turn them into jelly and wine so let me get let me just speed run pick all of this wonderful fruit every Tuesday. Every Tuesday. Okay, I have to keep it in the forefront of my mind. Tuesday is ancient fruit harvest day, and that is wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. And our first harvest of 267 ancient fruit is wonderfully completed. Ooh, do I just... No, I was about to say, do I just sell them outright? And the answer to that is a most emphatic no. I may need money, but I can make so much more money if I process this most ancient of fruit. Mr. Key, what do you need? Or what is this week? Skull Cavern. They've invented... They Skull Cavern by a hundred floors, one level, six days. Yes, those words and sentences cannot possibly be denied. Right, more pressure nozzles. I definitely need to get more pressure nozzles. And then I'd like to get the recipe for the elixirs, because I don't know if I want to spend $25,000 a day. Oh, that... Oh, my God, they had a child. Oh, the slimes, mazel tov, one and all. Look at the baby slime. I will allow you all to live to celebrate this most joyous of days. Oh, that is wonderful. Oh, truly, congratulations. So good to be... A slime right now once we have 
I was about to say maybe we should buy some seeds for star fruits from Sandy, and I'm like, with what money? At absolute best, I'd be able to buy like 10 seeds. They're like 400 a pop. Or like, yeah, star fruit seeds are like 400 per bag. I'd be able to buy like three seeds. Four, four six, eight, seven. I'd be able to buy less than 10 seeds. And that's not something that would be beneficial to us at all. Let's put, do we need to do any, I was like the pineapples. What should I do with the pineapples? We have so much stuff, but nothing to do. Hmm. Oh, I have some stones over here. Should probably do something with those. Uh, bones, snake skulls. Straight into the bone machines. Give me all of those uh, fertilizers. Let's go, let's go back into the mines. I don't know what else to do, so. I literally, it's the only thing, the, the the two big things that I know I can currently do for Expanded are the Starfruit Aurora Vineyard and the Lands Affinity. So I need, like, those are the prerequisites to a lot of stuff, or, well, the next two big things that I'm technically aware of. Besides that, I'm pretty sure it's just a bunch of vanilla, vanilla content. So hopefully... Well, I mean, there is always affinity. It's like I could, I could just go and get more. Where do I want, what do I, what am I doing? Oh, I need to put stuff away. Um, you know what? If we find important stuff, I can just cry about it. So it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Let's go put this stuff in the greenhouse. Cause that's going to be ready or well, not ready, but you know, you know, all of this ancient fruit, how much money? 74,000, 66,000, and 50,000. That's got to be close to like a hundred. That's got to be like $150,000 or something around there. 150,000 per harvest? Well, now that we get that, now that, now that we get that kind of harvest once a week, now that we get that once a week, hmm, I could use that money. Oh, I should... Hmm. Um, I like this music, but I'm not gonna think on it. Give me... Give me the monster musk. What was I deciding? Where are my crystal... How much jade do I have? I only have 34. How many crystallariums can I make? I need to take that out of storage and start doing something with it. Yeah, put that in the corner and just give me more of those. How many crystallariums can I make? I need 99 stone and lots of gold. Hmm, that's unfortunate. Cause how? Ooh, it getting getting to the bottom of Skull Cavern. That might be a challenge. That might. Oh, the cheese is done. I'll worry about that after. At some future point, after we go through the mines, I'll worry about it. We need to go. We need to douse ourselves in pheromones and then do another trip into the wonderful mines. Do I have any jades in here? I have five jades in here. Hmm. Hmm. I Wait, I'm going to take these back later because the stone chest, quite a bit helpful. Oh, nice. More radioactive ore. I got that. Got the name right on that one. So hopefully we can get some, some good... Some good stuff here. Just blow that up for me, please, and thank you. Wonderful, wonderful. Away, all of you go. Give me, give me staircases. And if you guys, if you guys are gonna give me jade, I'll take the jade. Oh, do I have to deal with skeletons? I don't even have to deal with skeletons. I just have to deal with slimes. All right, let me just highlight this bad boy up yet again because. Lord knows we all love the mining caving expeditions. It's the most important aspect of all of this. Nothing matters more. Blow it up. Yes. Wonderful. Give me all of your coal. Give me all of your galaxy souls. And your white algae, I guess. Slightly less important, but no less helpful, I guess. Ooh, got a rare star slime on this one. I wonder what you're going to give me as a reward. I hope it is something good. An iridium, a radioactive bar. 
Well, I suppose that's not nothing, because I can use that for something. I don't remember what. I never use those. I never get far enough in the game to actually be like, I need radioactive bars. I always just get so close, but never close enough. Lots of stuff in the sidebar, but nothing important besides that one bar. We shall continue. Ooh, a key gem. Now we shall continue. An ancient seed. When did I get an ancient seed? Oh, the questions I have. Now, now we shall continue. Wonderful stick bug getting me some nice key gems. With those key gems, I can definitely afford another thing full of uh, pressure nozzles, and that's a wonderful advancement for us. I'll take all of that. As well as all of this wonderful coal from all of these wonderful... Oh, another key gem. Thank you, wonderful key gems. I'll take them all. I wish you'd give me a galaxy soul, but I do not have any of those. All right, I guess we got a deal. It is 1.30. Will we be able to destroy all of the dust sprites before we pass out? I really hope so, because that's why I'm here. We are, we have not gotten anything else special. I think we might have gotten like one extra key gem that I didn't show, but that's, oh, we passed out and we didn't get all the key gems. We got 17, we got 17 radioactive ore. Hopefully, hopefully we just lose some more money. Well, I mean, it's like, it's fine. It's just a bit of money. What's wrong? There's nothing wrong with that. My inventory is full. Why is my inventory full? Don't give me that message. What else did we get? We got like two purple shrooms. Nothing to work ourselves up over. Wonderful. We have 93 of these. I really would like more galaxy souls. That's all I desire. Literally nothing else beyond more galaxy souls. But now we can put all of our stuff away. How many rocks did we get? We got 99 rocks. That's enough for a crystallarium right there. Not really all that helpful, though, unfortunately. So let's put all this stuff away. Put all of this stuff away. Geodes. Geodes. More geodes. And then, good luck band back on. Let's go pick up... Right, let's pick up all of our uh, cheeses. Din, found your face down in the mud at 3 a.m. Sweep. Oh, Marlin. No, thank you. Oh, Linus giving me some fried calamari. Oh, Linus, you're a gem. Oh, we have real bad luck today. Well, that's fine. That's fine. Bad luck, schmad luck. That's un... Acceptable? It's perfectly acceptable. Now that now that all of this is done, I can finally rework... Jukebox? Shut up with that. I can finally rework all of these casks, because for right now, I don't want them in this location. I would like to relocate them to the actual basement of my house. Because while they may work in here, I'm going to fill out the cellar first. Because I haven't quite decided on what kind of layout I want for in here. I did play around with it a bit in the previous few bits of time, but I'm not, I haven't decided on uh, a guarantee, uh, like a good satisfying set for me at the moment. So we're going to worry about that, well, in the future, I suppose. Not right now though. Don't worry about that. It's not a concern. Um, oranges, oranges, give me my peaches. And then, no, don't, don't consume the peaches. Consume mangoes. All right, so well, if those are done, we got more jelly. More jelly for the jelly collection. How much? $18,000 worth of cheese. If I genuinely sold literally everything, I would have enough money to last me for the rest of my life, but I do not. Hmm. Can I age pale ale? I suppose I don't necessarily have to. I'm not going to worry about that right now. Um, I believe... Uh, I don't exactly... I don't know exactly what a good layout per se is for this. But for right now, I will just set them all along the walls thusly. No, not like that. Well, actually, technically that might be fine. Yeah, it's, it's fine right now. I'll leave those there. If I want to rearrange them, I can rearrange them 
going forward. Between episodes, I can fiddle around with all of that nonsense. Put the calamari away. Tea saplings. I really need to decide what I'm going to do with those. Wednesday. Is Marlin... Not Marlin. Is... Oh, it's Sebastian's birthday. Right. I should probably pick up something for Sebastian. Where are those... Um... Doodads. Ice quartz. No, frozen tears. Ice quartz. Man, you could you could make a compilation of all of my misspeaks and make like a thousand new items just out of all of this nonsense. And it would be perfectly fitting. Give me all of you. Give me all of you. Put them inside. Say hello to all of my chickens. All of my chickens. A new lizard hatched. Sholo. Oh, Sholo. That's... What kind of name is Sholo? I need to name you... Shall... Nope. Keyboard. Shall it... Um... Josh. Shall it Josh. There we go. Welcome to the world, Shall it Josh. I will take care of you. And you will want for nothing in this wonderful world. I will take all of your eggs and turn them instantaneously into mayo. I need to hatch a void egg. And then the barn will be full. Which will be a lovely thing. So, void egg. Into the incubator. And then I will take another void egg and then ten more void eggs. And then I will put the eggs into the egg machines. I will process your eggs and turn these into egg-flavored mayo. And it will be wonderful. And it will be good. Oh, the pipple... The, the pipple pup is... The... The... The, the pipple, the pickle, the, the plambus jelly is ready. Hooray for plambus jelly. I'm sure Manana will love this. This is why I have made this after all. I need more stones. I need so many stones. It would be, I, 77 pickled pumpkins. How much money from this? Wow, $73,000. That's a lot. How many per? Nearly a thousand per. That's a lot. That's a lot. 77. Um, yeah, I'll do the rest of the pumpkins and the cucumber row. Because that should be... That should be everything presently. Maybe... Maybe I do some decorating. It's a bad luck day today. Maybe I just spend the rest of today decorating the farm. Well, not the farm, but like the house and like everything else. Smash cut of that, maybe? I don't know. I don't know what would work out. Wow, I need even more... I need even more? I need like five more things. Do I have enough? I have enough caviar row. Hmm. No, it'll be fine. I, I'll i just not do, I'll just not do all of it. It's fine. Oh, we have our second, we have our second uh, blobfish. Oh, I'm so glad that the blobfish, the blobfish are thriving. Good for the blobfish. Good, good, good for the blobfish. Oh, more cheese. Cheese for the cheese herders. Hello, everyone. How is everyone's day? Do I still have... I still have the egg with me. That's good. When is our next ostrich going to hatch? I have no earthly idea. Let's put all of the cheese back in here. So hopefully its aged quality will spread to the rest of them. Uh, nine and then ten. I should make more cheese presses. We inevitably use more cheese. At the current rate, we do use more milk to make more cheese than anything else. Oh, is our wine going to be done today? I wonder if it's if it's a harvest every Tuesday and it's a get all of the stuff. Nope, they're still processing. Well, that's fine. I need more stone, though. I, I genuinely, I genuinely need more stone. What would be more beneficial? Because I'm, I'm like, genuinely giving this some thought. If I sold a bunch of stuff and bought a bunch of stone, how much money could I make? Like, serious thought. How much money could I make if I just bought stone? If I sold, if I sold all of the stuff that I'm actually willing to sell and then bought stone. Hmm. Also something I'm going to determine between episodes because I am not wasting anyone's time. And if there's any fruit in here, I'll give these for gifts. Uh, people can have an orange. And Demetrius can have spice berries. And Maru can have a plum. And then we'll just give... Yeah, I'll get a fruit for Marlin as well. 
because if, if we're out by Marlin's place, you can have a spice berry. Hopefully, it's fresh iridium quality fruit, and they all appreciate that, because if they don't, well, then that's just unfortunate. Oh, I could go give Sandy a crocus. I'm sure she loves crocuses. Unfortunately. Oh, I have to pick up my trash can as well, and it's eerily silent. Uh, Robin, you can have that. It's really nice. You're really welcome. Demetrius, do you like wild plums? Thank you. This is a very interesting specimen. You're very welcome. Where is your motorcycle enthusiast's son? I have a birthday present. Sebastian, birthday present. It is your birthday, and you're very welcome. I remember all things from everyone equally. Unfortunately, Morrow is not in the building, and thus I cannot give her something wonderful. I suppose I can give the orange to Gus, because I feel like we still need to work on that. And then at some point, year three, honestly, honestly thinking about the future of the series, because, like, I realize that these are the boring stretches of episodes, and now it's like, we have too many boring episodes at once, everyone will die. Lance, gift, please, two stars. Please, please tell me, everything changes once I get two stars with you. Oh my god, two stars! There we go. Now we just need to maintain that until I can get a quest from that dude. Because now, now that that is a thing, I can actually make full use of this. Thanks, you're welcome. Glad I could help, Marlin. Can I buy... Oh, Galaxy 75. As if, as if I could afford this. 10 defense? Wow, that's... I really want the Galaxy Hammer now. Oh, right, you have recipes. Oh, recipes. Year three, I feel like, is going to be the year of filling out all of the nonsense. All of the recipes, all of the, um, like, the cooking recipes, the fish, all of the fish. Year three is probably going to be the year of the fish, where we just, instead of getting, like, montages of fish trying to get all of our skill level up to ten, which we did in year one. Man, who remembers year one? Shout out to year one. But in year three, we're probably going to go for... Because, like, look at all of the fish that we need to catch. Because we need to get all of the fish for completion. And there are a lot of fish that I have yet to get. Whoops. Go all the way down. Yeah, like, we have a lot of fish that we've yet to get. And I need to find them all. And that is going to be quite the troublesome yet fulfilling achievement. So hopefully we can do that with some kind of speed. I really should I really should make it a priority to give more gifts to more people. Gus, I need to buy some ducks. You're giving this to me? I'm speechless. How is everyone doing on the friendships? Cuz like we have Gus, Demetrius and Marnie, diamond, strawberry, oranges and we can do those going forward. Marlin, Lewis, Pam, like we're not we're not doing atrocious on friendships. Like for a lot of these characters we're doing rather well. It's when we get to people like Vincent and Sandy and Pierre and all of them that we're not doing good. Especially when it comes to fools like Martin, Gunther and Scarlet. Like Gunther and Scarlet. Oh gosh. The expanded people are where I really suffer on the knowledge of what they love. Maybe maybe it's like it's a terrible luck day today. But like do we do anything else? Like, Skull Cavern, perhaps? I feel like... I feel like it wouldn't... It would absolutely be stupid of me to do this. But, with no preparation whatsoever, and zero forethought at all, let's, um, go into Skull Cavern. Because, well, the rewards will be better, better than ever. This is, this is, this is hopefully a somewhat intriguing episode. I should have brought that crocus. If I was going to come over here, I should have brought that crocus for, uh, Sandy, like I said. Uh, I can give, I can give her a coconut. I'll go, I'll go, I'll, well, on the way back, I'll go give her a coconut. I really need to put actual, I need to, I really need to put more tappers on those things. It would probably be for the best. But let me show off the upgraded mines because, well, I don't think I've ever actually done that. So hopefully this will be not the most difficult thing in existence. But just like the mines when we upgraded those for Mr. Key, 
These are the dangerous floors of Skull Cavern, and they are very much dangerous. You need to be extremely careful in these particular ones. I highly, highly, highly recommend only coming down here when you've got like a super big surplus of staircases and spare rocks because, well, these floors are unlike any you've ever seen. You may be familiar with the upgraded floors from the mines where you have like a bunch of different upgraded enemies. The ones in Skull Cavern are particularly dangerous because if they if they get if they get to take advantage of you, well, they will destroy you without remorse. They do so much damage. You definitely want to be aware of all of these enemies. I'm focusing severely on all of the, the monsters and not my commentary, so I apologize for that. But everything, essentially everything is upgraded. So you've got stuff like, like, uh, the most notable one is most obviously the giant blue elongated serpents. You don't just have the tiny green one segment serpents. No, in this you've got giant multi-segmented super long boys. And they, they if you are if you don't got good defenses, they will do upwards of like 50 HP. They will do like 50 damage all at once. So they are a force to be reckoned with. You definitely want to be super duper aware of those. Monster Slayer goal. Did I never do mummies? I bet I wouldn't have. I really bet I wouldn't have because if I didn't have stuff like Crusader, I wouldn't have had the opportunity to. Right, oh right. I'll definitely have to go and check that out at some point. Oh, rabbit's foot, that's helpful for birthdays. Please kill this one first. Turn around and get this. And you can destroy, one of the, the tips that we definitely have for these dudes in particular, like the super elongated ones, is you can beat their tails. So you can get them in something of a, uh, a stun lock feedback loop type thing, where you hit their heads away, you break their defenses, for lack of a better term, and you can like hit their tails on the rebound, and you can keep doing that and just keep knocking them back. That is absolutely a valid strategy, and you can do it. Just be careful because they are still able to damage you no matter where you are. So if you if you still make contact, they will still do damage. So definitely be aware. Oh, wow, I didn't get anything from that. Unfortunate. Super unfortunate. But the things can damage you, and they will do a lot of damage. The damage is severe from all creatures. Prismatic shard, please make everything make everything worth my time. Was that a diamond? No, it was not a diamond, which is most unfortunate, but it's fine. Okay, so we got those, we got that. I'll definitely take all of this, eat my cactus fruit. Right, okay, so where Ooh, pepper rexes. Pepper Rexes, Pepper Rexes. Oh, yeah, it, you really should get the timing. You really need to learn the timing for those dudes because they will destroy you. Maybe I just missed the diamond because I was a moron. Well, I got two, so not a concern. Yeah, it's probably, it, it, it's definitely not the wisest decision to come in here of all days with the bad luck, but you know, it's a good, it's a good object lesson to show to show it all off. Oh, go destroy it quickly, please. And one thing that's definitely notable is radioactive ore can spawn in these upgraded depths, uh, depths, skull cavern. You can still get iridium ore. It's one of the, it's one of only two places where a radioactive nonsense can actually spawn this and the mines, but only when it's Mr. Key's quest, so. Make use of it. Only come in here when you have oodles of staircases and you're willing to fight life and limb for this. Anyway, this is probably a bit of a boring episode, but we now have the very much desired two hearts with lands. So now that that bit of progress is in our grasp, finally, we can hopefully within the next... <laughs> well, now I suppose we're at the whims of luck and fate when we actually get that actual quest from the bulletin board because now that we actually have the prerequisite required for that quest to spawn now we actually have to get 
the quest to spawn, and that is definitely something of its own beast to contend with. And I have no idea how we're going to manage that. Can I have that rusty spoon? I don't think we need the rusty spoon, but I will take it over those carrots. I should probably save the carrots. Oh, that is... Oh, this is dangerous. Oh, this is probably the most dangerous floor yet. Definitely need to be aware of everything. Everything, everything need to be super aware. Here, just go down the hole. Yeah, I don't care about eight levels. When it comes to... This is actually something where I would recommend having um, oil of garlic. Oil of garlic, I don't think I've ever used in my life, and I really don't plan to. But if you are less proficient or, you know, more smart, if you're not stupid and arrogant like I am, you might consider oil of garlic. Because what oil of garlic it does is it prevents those very floors from happening. You know, like where the purple mist obscures the screen and monsters come in from all sides of the screen and try and attack you. Um, especially when it comes to the enhanced levels of Skull Cavern, when you get giant blue serpents coming in from all sides, I highly, highly recommend having something like um, oil of garlic, maybe, if you were so inclined, because that does prevent it. I mean, it, it's also mitigated by a copious amount of staircases, but still, can't go wrong with oil of garlic in a situation like this. Get rid of the algae. I would prefer my mushrooms. No secret holes. At some point, I should probably open a bunch of geodes. Do I have enough money for that? Uh, probably not. Where is another staircase? The fact that we got to, like, floor 30 of this, or, well, close to floor 30, is probably pretty nice. It's 11... It's 11.30. I'll definitely take it. Oh, another... Oh, God, this is terrifying. This... This is no bueno. Oh, this is... This is bad. Oh, well, at least we don't have to worry about too much extra nonsense. Because we're immune to the slimes. And if we get lucky with everything, hopefully we get some good rewards. Ooh, an iridium bar. I'll take all of that. And crab cakes, I'll take all of those. This is probably the best. Yeah, I'll take the iridium bar. I definitely want those. Oh, nonsense. Nonsense. Get out of here. Nonsense. You're not wanted here, nonsense. They're very dangerous. Very dangerous creatures, these things. Do I have normal quartz? Do I have anything I can toss? Uh, earth crystal. We don't need those. Oh, dangerous. Oh, do I... I want that food. Get rid of... Uh, the ruby. It's like, what am I... What? Are, what? Are, honestly, what am I going to use it for? What am I honestly going to use the ruby for? Nothing. That's what. Don't attack me. Get out of here. Oh, these things. Oh, so many terrifying creatures. Gold bars. Oh, go, go, go away. I'll take the gold bars. And I'll get rid of... Ugh, the miner's treat. Just eat the miner's treat. It's good for health, I guess. And it's not like I have any other boosts. Go away, slime. Be gone. I don't need your stupid scrolls anymore. I found, like, so many of those stupid scrolls. You would not believe. Are we gonna pass out again? I mean, we just might. Oh, another iridium bar. I'll take all of that, I guess. It's a good little bit of reward, considering that this was a completely unexpected and unplanned trip into here. I guess I'll take everything that we can get. I will take all of my rewards. Oh, there are little dudes in the walls. I've never noticed the little dudes in the walls. In those floors, specifically. Let's kill all of these slimes and then go down one more floor and then see what we get at floor 30. We get nothing. Well, that's fine. Let's get out of here. Uh, there's no way Sandy will be open at... Oh! I was not expecting this in the slightest. Okay, this is good. Sandy, how are you doing? Out in the middle of the night. Hi, Din. I was, um... About to warp... Warp back home to Castle Village. You live in Castle Village! Well, I suppose that makes sense. There's no bedroom in the Oasis shop. Huh. Cool. Castle Village. Makes sense. I'd really want to visit there one day. The Oasis is beautiful on a night like this, though, isn't it? Oh, it certainly has a wonderful charm to it. No doubt about that. How's everything going for you, Sandy? I hope everything's been well. 
You've been adventuring in Skull Cavern lately. Being covered in slime is a good clue. Oh, uh, well, yeah. It was more of, uh... I, I felt like my luck deserved to have a little punch-out with me. It's like I needed to have a punch-out with the universe. Bad luck day to day. I, I slipped and fell and slipped and dropped all of my eggs while I was scrambling them. And it was like, it got everywhere. And I had to spend like four hours cleaning it all up. And it was like, bad luck day. I figured I might as well take care of some stuff in Skull Cavern. To a healthy outlet for my anger, you know. It, you get back at the eggs of the universe. It's brave of you to fight the monsters down there. It's something I'd never imagined myself doing, despite living, living, living in Castle Village. It, monster fighting, it's not for everyone. I certainly don't blame you for not, you know, taking up arm and defending the world. Wow, the game is stuttering. Hmm. Monsters. Monsters? Monster hunters. A series, maybe. Adventurers, warriors, mages, wizards, witches. I've seen a lot of them come and go. Well, it's not the most stable of professions, I'll give you that. Well, it's, uh, very late. It is actually, you know, it's 1.30 in the morning. We should probably be getting to bed. I really should be heading off. Hey, why don't you watch me warp home? Uh, sure, I could, I could, uh, provide this humble service. Wow, the game is chugging. Oh, you use this statue. Only way to get back home is via warp. Incredible how much magic has progressed, isn't it? Please take me with you. I I've been trying so hard to get to Castle Village. You have no I you have no idea. You have no idea. I I have uh, I only have a thousand dollars, but I have pure bars of iridium. I have food, gold. Please, Sandy, please take me with you. What is the cost of a ticket? Adieu, then. Well, if I can't convince you, then all I can do is wish you a very fond farewell, Sandy. Good night. What a wonderful later. I forgot to give her her coconut. Oh, I had a gift. Oh, I completely, I completely borked the gift. Wow, the game is hard jugging. We need to get out and end this episode before the entire game crashes the world. The entire universe wants to end itself. Give me coconuts. Give me coconuts or give me death. Can I cut down these trees? I can cut down these trees, but I'm not going to do that. Anyway, this was an episode. This was the episode where we officially got to two hearts with Lance, and that is something that's very good. Very, 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 very good for many reasons. So hopefully, hopefully sooner rather than later, we can make full advantage of that. Oh, it's two in the morning. I completely forgot. Well, we passed out. You know, I think we passed out every day of this particular episode, which is fine which is very good. I'll give you guys a sneak preview into the next day. It's a black screen. Congratulations. No, it's a good luck day today. Oh, boy. Boy, oh, boy. The game is chugging hard because it's a good luck day. It cannot compensate for all of this. So go whether you guys watched for 30 seconds or the entire thing, thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you in the next episode of Stardew Valley Expanded. Hopefully something interesting will happen. Only RN Jesus knows. Later, everyone.